What's up guys? So it is Friday night. It's about, it's going on 10 o'clock. Um, stores are starting to close later now and I figured I'm gonna do a late night toy hunt. Um, I'm gonna go to Toys R Us and Target just to see what's out. Tomorrow morning, which is Saturday, we're gonna be going to Frankenstein's and hitting more stores and Hot Topic for some pops. So this is gonna be kind of a long vlog, so be you know prepared for that. Um, tomorrow, Best in Collectibles, Nora's gonna have, uh, what is she gonna have? She's gonna have the new um, Christmas Vacation NECA figure, uh, the new Series 16 Predators, and I think a restock of the um, Home Alone figures. But let me show you guys something here real quick. So my toy room is a mess. It is a mess, like just, I need, to, I need to organize it. I need to take all these damn webs down because they are starting to annoy me. And I got boxes upon boxes and figures. The bat plane is still here because I have no idea where the heck to put this monstrosity is big. But I'm going to find a place to put it. I'm going to display this place, this uh, piece somewhere. So we'll see. Got a tripod there. It's a bunch of, you know, figures and whatnot all over the place. Here's the Batman box. Um, but yeah, yeah, nothing. There's no real changes around here. But I have to start organizing everything. Look at Batman's belt came off from the Hot Toys. Kind of looks like he's naked. And um, here's uh, some of the Batman Hot Toys right here. If you guys want to see that. Probably my favorite Hot Toy to date is the uh, Batman vs. Superman Hot Toy. Love that thing. I still need to do a review on that. If you guys want to see a review on it, um, just let me know in the comments below. But uh, so let's let's head out. See, it's dark out. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is uh, putting up this video tonight, this short little toy hunt, and then tomorrow will be more of a longer vlog because I'm gonna hit a lot of stores and Frankincense. So just be prepared for that. That way, the video is not too long. You know, if I add this into it, because I don't know how much I'm gonna film over there. But uh, let's go ahead and head out, guys. One thing about you know being living in in Corona, uh, when you come down to the 91, the 91, um, the 91 East. There's always traffic. There's always traffic. So it's Friday today. Friday is always usually the worst day for traffic when you're coming down 91. Uh, but um, it's like I said, it's almost 10 o'clock and the traffic right now looks like it's moving, but it, it's still, it can be deceiving, you know? Like you won't really know. I don't even know if you can see me. You won't really know until you get in onto the freeway. So here we go. And there's always they're oh, they're they're always doing road work at night. Whoa, look at the moon. Oh man, I'm gonna try to get some close-up shots on that. Moon looks insane. The cool thing about this camera, it focuses so well. I'm gonna try to see if I can get that. It's right there. See that? The only problem is that when you go when you zoom in more on this camera, it gets really like out of focus. Put my ring back on. Tell that bitch put a ring back on. Come on, girl, why you frontin'? Baby, show me something. When I call her, she gon' leave. And I bet that bottom dollar she gon' cheat. Come on, come on, girl, why you frontin'? Baby, show me something. You didn't spend your bread on All right, so here is our destination. Chili's. No, I'm playing. Uh, we're here to uh, go to Toys R Us. Oh, it's Chick-fil-A. Mmm, Chick-fil-A is so good. All right, let's roll in. Look at that. It's cool because there's not a lot of people here right now, even though the store closes late, and uh, it's like probably your best time to do holiday shopping. But uh, yeah, we are here, and we're gonna see what's, what's out. I'm still looking for that glow-in-the-dark raven that I cannot find. Am I zooming in? Okay, yeah, so I'm still looking for that glow-in-the-dark raven, which I can't find, so let's go ahead and see if um, if we have any luck inside with anything. Here we go. Heading right in to Toys R Us. A lot of boxes out already. Hobbits. Sabers. Shields. All the legends. Still a lot of Venoms, a bit of Black Panther. Nothing crazy. There's a NECA section. Nothing crazy here either. Alright, pops. What the hell is this? Oh. 
alien. I thought I was like, what is that? All right, nothing, nothing there. So, look at the pop section got smaller. It used to be the top row was full of them. Oh man, clearance. Look at that, 398. The 21 Jump Street pops. It's four dollars for a pop. I don't think there's any Ravens here. It's like they made a metal die cast section. These are cool. I like this. This one's cool. And this one's cool too. The Power Rangers section. See? It's all the boxes. They're on top. But look, the Power Rangers are stocked. Look at these. The Zeos. It's like they don't have the um, Mighty Morphin. Hey, speaking of that, the new series for the, the Power Ranger Legacies, these ones? These ones. They're on uh, pre-order for Big Bad Toy Store. So click on the link in the description in case you want to get those. These are all the exclusives. All right, so there's nothing here at Toys R Us. <laughs> These kids out here are playing with like Nerf guns and they're shooting each other. And <laughs> it's funny because uh, they, they're yelling like Martha. <laughs> and we're, like you hear them all yelling Martha, I guess so they won't shoot each other, but it's pretty funny. Um, so there's nothing here at Toys R Us. It's kind of a bust. So GameStop's right over there. So is Toys R Us. So I'm debating on if I'm gonna go to. I don't know. I don't know if anything GameStop has any pops or anything exclusive right now. But um, let's go to Target and see what's up. You know what I want to get is that uh, the um, Impopster uh, Killer Croc, the Walmart exclusive. That's the one I want to get too. Speaking of that, you know GameStop's having a um, a mystery or a blind box for Black Friday which originally I thought was just gonna have the Yellow Ranger in there, but apparently there's like five pops that are gonna be in the damn box. And I think it's like, um, I think it's, hopefully you guys can see me on kill one. I think it's like uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, I don't know what else, cause I, I'm, not a, I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan because I've never seen anything from Dragon Ball Z, so I know nothing of Dragon Ball Z, but I do want that um, metallic power uh, Yellow Ranger, so, if there's gonna be that many pops in them, you know, if there are that many different blind boxes, it's gonna suck because you're gonna be spending money and who knows how much they're gonna be and you don't even know what pop you're gonna get. Uh, Toys R Us, Hot Topic's gonna to have the uh, gold BB-8. That one I do wanna get, so I'll probably be at Hot Topic for Black Friday to pick up that. But we're here at Target now and the parking lot is empty, so let's see if there's anything in here. Oh man, no. Ah, oh, no gold. Doctor Strange. Uh, no. I don't, you know, this, I guess this is a Target exclusive right here. Man. I was hoping they would have a gold Doctor Strange. But there's nothing. And there's like pops like scattered everywhere. So. Nothing. Never know. Some more pops here. Uh, zombie. Mega Man's. Nothing. Remember the last time I came here, there was like stacks of these. Look at those big guys. Star Wars. Oh, the green saber. I want this. I want that a lot. Look at that. Wacky track. Nothing good in this legend section. Same stuff. Say, what the heck? Is Batman wearing a white coat? Another variant? What the? What is this? What? What the hell is this? I remember when these were so popular. Well, they still are. All right, let's go look at the movies. Yeah, the steel book of this. I still don't own this movie. I kind of want to go to Best Buy to see if they have the Bill and Ted's Blu-ray. I think Best Buy might be open still. But, it's nothing good as far as Blu-rays go. 
What's up, dog? All right, there was nothing here. This uh, toy hunt's turning out to be a kind of a bust. But, oh man. So, I'm gonna go to Best Buy. I kind of want to see if they have the Blu-ray of, um, of um, what do you call it? Bill and Ted's. Ooh, ah, let's head out. I don't even know if Best Buy's even open right now. I'm just like winging it to see if it's open. Because everything else is open late right now. Are you guys going to be doing any Black Friday shopping? I plan on going the Thursday night after dinner and then um, going to uh, on Friday too and I'm going to vlog it. No, Best Buy's closed. Damn it. All right, and then look, GameStop straight ahead and that place is closed too. Barnes & Noble is open, but there's nothing I want in there. Sometimes they do have movies in there and Blu-rays and stuff, but I'm trying to think if there's any pops. No, because I already have um, the New York Comic Con exclusives. Should we go look? I don't know, this guy's taking forever to walk. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go see what, what um, Barnes & Noble has. Since we are already here, and we got front row parking right there. Barnes and Nobles. Here we go. Pops. Mm. Got the Pops. All the Rangers. Yeah. Got a Star Wars section. These are cool. Hellraiser, Friday the 13th. Oh, what are these? Which are these? Eight bucks. These are cool. This year. Batman. It's cool. Look at this one. got some weight to it. Oh. Boy. That's pretty cool. Which is this? $45. That. It's all the tattoos. Photograph. It's actually pretty cool. Joker's henchman. Pops. There's hot girl. Hot girl. Some more pops here. It's a good movie. Look, they have the It Deluxe with the shirt. This is where I got It too. 54 bucks for a shirt. Look at this. It's pretty cool. Got a Star Wars one. I'm gonna get this. Man, it's getting chilly now. Um, Alright, so I picked up the Stephen King movie Cat's Eye. Um, and I got the Batman the Animated Series Volume 2 because I don't think I have this volume um, anymore. I used to have this the whole series and then when th this is when they first came out on, on this kind of like volumes and when I moved um, I lost I lost all the volumes and I had to buy them all over again uh, in the past couple years but I don't know if I have volume 2 and it was only um, it was only $15. They were both only $15. Uh, so I gotta go home and see if I have it. If not, then, you know, it's in my collection. If I have it, then I gotta bring this back and uh, get my money back. But uh, yeah, so, you know, I was looking at that, um, hopefully you guys can see me, man. I was looking at the, uh, we're gonna do some talking right now. I was looking at that Suicide Squad book. It's actually really cool. Um, it's like a scrapbook with like actual photos in there. And uh, they had cool like concept artwork in there and just, you know, but $45, so total probably would have, with tax and everything, probably would have been like 50 bucks. 
And uh, this is a really cool book and had some weight to it. It had like secret uh, files and photographs and in there. It was the way they did the book was really really cool. So if you guys, you know, come across this at like Barnes and Noble or wherever bookstore, um, check it out. Definitely check it out. But I wouldn't spend 50 bucks on it, you know, because all the behind the stuff, scene stuff you can get like on the Blu-ray or on the internet. But um, unless you like the hardcore, I mean not the hardcore. Unless you like the physical copy, which I do, but I don't want to spend 50 bucks on that. Um, on that note, Suicide Squad, all right? I got the extended edition the day it came out, which was last, uh, la it was actually on Thursday. I got the digital copy for Suicide Squad. And um, what I have to say about it is, first of all, as you guys already know, I loved the movie. I liked it. It's not DC's best movie, but it's a fun movie. It was a really, really fun movie. I had fun with it. But as far, I know a lot of people didn't like it, uh, I know a lot of people like myself were upset because there was a lot of unseen Joker scenes in the movie which were apparently cut and there was a, a supposedly David Ayer version of the movie that was you know a lot darker and more you know serious but anyways long story short there was like 11 to 13 um, minutes of extended scenes or whatever I'll tell you this right now if you're going in this movie, if you didn't like the movie the first time around and you're like thinking like how Batman versus Superman, you know, because the extended edition did make the movie a lot better, even though I already liked Batman versus Superman. If you're going, you know, if you're like that with Suicide Squad, you didn't like it and you're hoping the extended edition would be better. Um, no. The extended edition just had extended scenes. That was it. There was nothing really. I mean, they had an extended scene in the beginning with the Joker when he's torturing Harley Quinn. That That's pretty much an extended scene there for a Joker. And then a deleted scene where she's having a flashback of, you know, um, when she's when she's Dr. Harleen and she's on the motorcycle. You guys probably saw the, the, the little clip um, on the internet. That was a good scene. It made me want to see more of Jared Leto's Joker, but... We didn't even get to see it. I was and I was wondering where the heck is that that scene with the grenade, you know, where, where the smoke with this what is the smoke grenade? And he's got the burnt face. Apparently, it's after the helicopter scene where it crashes. Um, none of that was in there. A lot of it was just extended scenes. We got to see the bar scene, you know, where they're all asking for drinks. That was finally put back in the movie. But um, is this still recording? Yeah, that was finally put back in the movie. But everything else was just like I. I didn't really, I don't know. I was expecting more for an extended edition, you know? I mean, I wasn't really, I was expecting more Joker. Could put it like this. The behind the scenes stuff is cool on there. You get to see Jared Leto, you know, in the makeup. But um, you see more behind the scenes of, of Jared Leto's Joker than you do in the actual movie. And holy crud, there's traffic. Um, and the thing is that, they show, uh, you can see when, when they're doing the behind the scenes stuff, you can see they did shoot a lot more Joker scenes. You can you can see it, they, they shot a lot more Joker scenes, but none of it made the movie. Why, I do not know. I don't know what the issue was. With, maybe it was Warner Brothers, um, who knows. But the extended, long story short, the extended edition, I mean, I, I was gonna get it anyways because I like the movie. But again, if you're going into it like thinking, you know, I didn't like the theatrical release, is the extended edition gonna make the movie better? It doesn't change a damn thing. I mean, you get an extra Joker scene, if that, but, and like a few extra scenes. You, you get to see more so of, um, of Deadshot and, um, what's his name? Of uh, Deadshot and, I forgot his name. Uh, the lead, the, the, the main army dude. I totally forgot his name, Rick Flagg. You get to see their, them talking a lot more and kind of bonding a little bit, which I liked, but I don't know. There, there, was, a few, there was a few scenes in there that, I, I mean, they're just extended scenes. It just didn't really make a difference to me. But if you guys watched it, what did you guys think? Like, what did you guys think over? All right, guys, so I am home. Um, so like I was saying, uh, I had to turn the camera off when I was driving, but so I did purchase the Suicide Squad Extended Edition, and if you're a fan of the movie, definitely pick it up. Regardless, the, the, the extra footage in the movie is not going to make a difference at all. Um, the behind-the-scenes stuff is cool, though. Watch, I'll go to the special features so you guys can see it. 
Um, so they have this is all this this is all like the special features they have chasing the reel, which is nine minutes thirty five seconds. Task Force X that's uh, twenty three minutes. Um, Joker and Harley fourteen and twenty seven seconds. So that that one's a good one. So you do see a lot of Joker stuff in that and he and Jared Leto. I don't know if I said Heath Ledger earlier. Huh. Their suicide uh, strength, arm to the teeth. Uh, this is gonna get something or other. The squad, and then gag. The gag. The gag reel is pretty good. And then there's the sucker for pain music video. I'm, just, I'm tired of that song. But uh, yeah, the overall movie I liked again. But um, extended edition is not gonna really change anything in the movie. Uh, anyway, so I picked up uh, Cat's Eye. You guys saw. Really like this, a Stephen King movie. So if you guys haven't seen this one, to check it out, it's a young Drew Barrymore right there. Really, really good movie. And then Batman the Animated Series Volume 2. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see if I even have this movie. So let's go through some of the DVDs and Blu-rays I have here. Okay, wait, crap, I think I do have it. Son of a gun! It's right there, oh, dang it. See, that sucks. That's what, that's the problem with having so many Blu-rays and DVDs. You have no idea what the hell you have. All right, so it's volume three I need. So I gotta go take this back. Um, not today though, not a big deal. And uh, I got these too. Ended up getting that Harvest Batman, the Funko, the Halloween exclusive. And it's, uh, was it 3,300 pieces? And then the um, Suicide Squad, Joker, um, burnt face version, which was never in the movie, but that's it guys. That's it for this video um, uh, <laughs> What a bust man uh, Has that ever happened to you guys? Let me um, uh, Give this video a thumbs up. So tomorrow uh, the new predators come out So I'll be doing a review on those and whatever I see at Frankenstein's I'm gonna do a little vlog on that, too So yeah, we'll see you guys later. Take care. Have a good night. Peace